Sandra from the Let's Paint Club and I hope you're having a good day today. So in this brief clip I'm just going to talk to you about keeping your brushes. What do you keep your brushes in and does it keep them in good condition? Does it bend the brush bristles or does it keep them nice and straight? So because that's really important if, if you've spent quite a few pounds on a decent brush the last thing you want to do is to keep it somewhere where you end up damaging the brish, bristles um, so that wouldn't be great would it because you have to go and buy another one obviously so we don't really want to do that so what do I do with my brushes um, first of all I certainly don't keep them in a tub or a tin like some people do because if you're moving this about somewhere and you're not keeping it um, flat or horizontal if you're tucking it in a bag like so if the bristles are pointing down you're going to damage the bristles and they end up drying if they're damp with an awful curve to the end which is going to be really difficult to put right so that's not a great idea um, the other thing is if you're just chucking in the bottom of your art bag that will also damage the bristles too so you've spent time on searching and buying your brushes and you now know how to clean and get them back in a nice shape um, so now you need to know how to store them so you can see behind me um, I've got a whole load of different types of brush, br brushes here um, I've got a mix of acrylic brushes and oil brushes and what I tend to do is I tend to store them in jars like so so they're on my desk, they're all there ready for me to use when I'm teaching. Uh, the other thing is that you can buy or you can make your own roll up um, thing with a piece of material um, which you can store your brushes in if you're going to carry them out and about with you or if you just want to tuck them away somewhere. And this one is a homemade one and it's great because I made this years ago to be honest with you if I just hold it up there you can see it there we are it's just got um, I made this by hand but you could make it with a sewing machine if you're pretty good with the old sewing machine uh, it's just got a ribbon going across there and I folded up the bottom and then stitched these little pockets in it and what you do is you just take your brush and you pop them into these different pockets some are narrow and some are wide and you can buy this kind of thing as well from different retailers um, you can also get bamboo ones and what you do is you just roll it up like so um, with my one you can even tuck the top over if I wish which I don't tend to bother doing now but it keeps your brushes in good shape and you could always tie it around with a ribbon there if you want and it's ready just to pop in your bag um, ready to go out painting or sketching or to go out to your club so I've used this for many years and it's been great for keeping my brushes in good nick the other thing is you can buy these bags as well um, which some of them have these pockets similar to what I've just shown you in the front so you can put your brushes in the pockets very different heights than that um, and it's great when you're painting on location too so that's what I would recommend it's really important you look after your brushes especially once you've spent out the money for them and you want to keep them in good shape and it's very difficult if they have bent and dried in that, in that bend to get them nice and straight again lastly before I go I just want to give a shout out to one of my students John you know who you are if you're watching this he made me this some time ago and I love using it it's uh this is another idea if you've got if you've got someone in the family or you know someone who's good at DIY or likes working with wood this, uh, this is a lovely one which shaped as an elephant and uh, he's drilled holes along the top there so I can just poke the brushes in the top like so and it actually looks nice on the desk as well so great thanks for that John and uh, more from me next time hope you enjoyed that hope it was helpful do remember to like follow share subscribe whichever you choose and i'll see you again soon take care have a good day bye